When you're ready to ship a package, you often bring it to a UPS store like this one. But what happens to your package after you drop it off? Let's find out. Last year, UPS, the world's largest package delivery company, delivered over 3.5 billion packages around the world. That's almost 15 million parcels, letters, and documents a day. How Stuff Works recently paid a visit to Louisville, Kentucky, the site of Worldport, UPS's main air shipping terminal. Worldport sorts nearly one million packages a day. Before the packages get here, they have a couple of steps to go through. Once your package is in the hands of UPS, an employee fixes a smart label containing all of its shipping information. Then an employee scans the label into a system that tracks it every step of the way. Next, it's off to a local UPS center for what you might call a mini sorting. Employees quickly prepare overnight packages traveling under 200 miles. They pack up packages traveling farther than that into a UPS shipping pod. Then a plane flies them onto Worldport or another regional gateway. Opened in 2002, Worldport covers 550 acres and sorts about 300,000 packages per hour, most between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. And while computers do almost all of the actual sorting, it still takes roughly 4,000 employees to make things work. Every night, employees at Worldport sort the contents of nearly 100 planes and 500 big rigs. Once the planes dock, workers move the pods into the buildings. Each pod weighs up to 2,000 pounds, but thanks to custom caster flooring, two people can move them. Human hands touch a typical package only twice while at Worldport, during pod loading and unloading. Computers control every other step. Essentially, the unloader's main job is to make sure the package goes on the conveyor belt label side up. This way, as each package passes through a tunnel, a camera can scan, photograph, and catalog the label into a database. At the same time, sensors weigh and measure the box. The shape and weight of each package determines which of three systems the package enters, parcels, smalls, or irregulars. This information also regulates the speed of the conveyor belts and the spacing between the packages. The packages then go down a maze of 17,000 different conveyor belts, totaling over 122 miles. This intricate and highly organized process quickly screens, scans, and sorts packages, grouping them by ever narrower location divisions, country, state, city, and zip code, sometimes even down to the street or block. Despite all these levels of intricacy, most packages are in and out of the building in less than 15 minutes. Now that the packages are thoroughly organized, employees hand pack them into the proper pods and load them back onto the plane. Then they're flown out. The operations planning control room at Worldport coordinates each pod's delivery location, sending planes out to local and regional service centers all around America and the world. Once they arrive, employees unpack the pods and load the packages into the more than 90,000 cars, trucks, motorcycles, and other assorted vehicles that UPS uses to make their deliveries. Finally, a UPS driver scans the smart label to finish the delivery and let everyone know that the package has officially arrived. So now you've seen the whole process, from the store to the door. I'm Marshall Brain, and that's how UPS works.